far away, but that's okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Late Night Gaming. I am here, and I am back. Look at this cool thing. I thought this would be neat. It's kind of like a cozy, we're sitting at the table kind of thing. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, But tonight, I am here to talk to you about well, this side. <laughs> Marvel Champions. <clears throat> so, yesterday, uh, FFG had a live stream, and they played uh, Gambit and Rogue um, versus Magneto. But at the beginning of their live stream, they did address the whole, hey, we've been quiet for a wicked long time thing. And it was it was really cool. Like, it was good that they brought that out. They said, yep, this has been an issue. We know it's an issue. Um, we had a lot of things going on. Stuff was happening. Uh, lots of different moving parts and everything like that. And so they basically apologized um, without actually saying the words, sorry about that. Um, but, you know, we take it with the way it's it's intended. Like, they, they're apologizing for... You know, kind of, kind of hanging us out to dry since their last live stream when they went over like, hey, these are the cool campaign contest ideas that people had. These are the five winners. Um, more stuff to come, and then left us hanging for what's it been like three or four months now? Uh, because we're in March. Hey, welcome to March, everybody. So um, yeah. Uh, that being said. They they did their playthrough with uh, Gambit and Rogue. Um, they were going up against Magneto. It was interesting to see. It was a good good show. Um, if you want to see it, it is actually up. Whoop! This side again. It is actually up on YouTube. Um, you just gotta find it. It's not it's not listed in any of their uh, like hey live stream feeds or anything like that. It's on their main main page. Hey, this is our our videos kind of thing. Uh, so you can find it there. Give it a watch. It's only like an hour. Nothing too, too spectacular there. Um, at the end of it, they did say, okay, we're going to go over our organized play package. And their organized play package is pretty cool. I, I did like their whole concept of it. I get where they're coming from with it. They're trying to bring, um, bring the game out back to the local stores and get people involved in community of the game um as it was originally intended because the game was made to be played with a group um with the ability to play it solo and then COVID hit and everything like became a solo game because that was basically how everybody could play it <clears throat> so um so they went into the organized play package it's interesting it's got some neat parts. Uh, they call them booster packs. It's uh, for the local game stores to organize events to have people come. They, they, I don't even know how they work because I've never done one before. But I'm assuming that you bring uh, a hero with you and you meet up with people and you play a game. And in that process you get swag, basically, for doing it at that store. Great concept. Like the idea. I think it's neat. I think the alternate art that they came up with for it, it's going to be in that video. Um, it's it's towards the end, but yeah, the alternate art that they have for those uh, special cards, it's cool. Um, the, the only issue I have with it is their timing. I think their timing was very bad. Um, so they've been quiet for basically almost five months. Because at the end of this month, it would be five months. Um, the community has been screaming for information, for what's going on, uh, what's the next release, what's the next thing coming. And why is this a problem? Why is this like, oh, okay, well, you know, they're doing this OP thing. Um, the problem isn't that they're doing it an organized play package. I think that that's a cool idea, and I think I've beat that into the dirt already. Like, yes, do it. I like it. Cool. Um, not a lot of people are going to get to participate 
because not a lot of places do the organized play. Um, they do the Magic the Gathering, they do the, the, the other one with the, with the D's and the name and stuff. Um, they do those ones, um, but they don't do, like, any of the FFG ones, especially not around here where I am. This is southern New Hampshire, hello. Um, our stores don't do it. They don't care for it. They, they're they forgotten when they order product from FFG. It's, like, lost in the sauce. They get it late. So they don't put forth an effort to push the product. And that's where the problem lies with the with the organized play for some places other places there's just not a local game store nearby and people are driving like five hours to get to one that's also a problem uh so like these packages are cool but they're for like a minority like there's there's some people that aren't going to get to the get to the, have them and other people that just aren't like me because the nearest place i could go to that i can think of is probably like the portal down down in Connecticut because you know the brand is always on here and he's like yeah come to the portal and do the stuff and I'm like you're in Connecticut you're not that far but it's like you know five six twelve hour drive because you're out by New York I think so yeah that's like a twelve hour drive for me to get to you so eh, not really my cup of tea um so yeah that's that's where we're at with that yeah so like I said yeah this there's the cool package that they came up with. That's uh, hit or miss with the community. Um, but the biggest thing, like I said, is timing. And why is the timing so bad? Um, well, it, it boils down to the community wanted information about what's coming. And the reason why they wanted that information about what's coming is because that's what the community as a whole have gotten used to. All of last year, like, I started playing this game last year. When Sinister Motives came out was the time that I was starting to purchase this game. I got the core set I played, I loved it, and I started buying everything. That's how it happened for me. And and it was watching somebody, some uh, some guys playing, um, I think it was Team Covenant at the time. Um, I just happened to catch one of their videos, so I was really into Arkham at the time. And I was like, oh, this game looks pretty cool. I'll try it out. I'll grab the corset and, you know, fill it out. Um, and yeah, we were like, bam, okay, great. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this game. Everything's cool. So I got a little out of time, you know, purchasing here and there and built up the collection. And um, Sinister Motives came out and then that was cool. And they, as soon as Sinister Motives came out and you got, you know, um, they were like, oh, here's these two heroes that are coming, and they talked about them for a while, and then they were like, now the next pack box is going to be Mutant Genesis. And they drip-fed us information about Mutant Genesis. You know, every week or every two weeks, there was something coming in about, hey, this is what's going on with the campaign and Marvel Champions, and here's this cool thing. So they really hyped it up, and they really got us used to this drip feed of information about the game. And it, it, it keeps, it kept the game alive for all of us. And then Mutant Genesis released, they were like, here's Gambit and Rogue coming. Well, it was like, well, here's Mutant Genesis. Oh, and now we're going to have Wolverine and Storm coming. So here's stuff coming from them. More drip feed. Okay, cool. We're interested. And then they were like, Gambit and Rogue are coming. Cool. A little bit more drip feed. And then it stopped. Just like that. <laughs> Done. What happened? Where'd you go? What's going on? Okay, well, you know, it's the holidays, because it was the end of November when we got the last word about what was getting released. Okay, holidays. We'll give them a month. January comes. Okay, well, you know, we just got done the holidays. People are just coming back, so it's going to be a little bit halfway through January. Nothing. Okay, well, you know, maybe they're just getting their footing. February comes. Nothing. So we've gone through November, December, January, February. Welcome to March. And we're still nothing. 
And that is where the community is at. That's why the community is upset. Because we have gotten nothing to feed the hype. When we had an entire year plus of hype for an entire campaign box in the wave that was coming. So you can't you can't make a thing happen like that. Like and I posted it in one of the discords. It said, you know, if I made a game and it was awesome and everybody loved it, and then I put out an expansion and really hyped it up and you know drip fed information for that expansion over time, and everybody was like, yeah, I want to get this. This is cool. The expansion comes out and they get it, and they're like, this is awesome. And I'm like, yeah, more stuff is coming. And then I just cut everybody off for five months. And then I come out and I say, sorry about that. You know, things were happening. Couldn't get in, couldn't get around to, you know, sending a message on social media to say, you know, I'm still working on some stuff. You know, nothing. No, I didn't say anything other than like, don't worry, the game's still alive on some random Facebook message somewhere because everybody has Facebook, apparently. Not this guy. I don't. No Facebook for me. Sorry. But yeah, uh, that's the thing. You like completely cut off talking to your community. And then when you release this organized play product, you got massive backlash in the chat. Like that chat exploded when you put that out there. And it was like you didn't even notice it um and you couldn't like maybe you guys didn't understand why and i'm telling you this is why guys it's because the community wasn't expecting an organized play box yes you mentioned it at the beginning of the stream yes you mentioned it at the stream you did when you did the the um the campaign announcement stuff for the for the community contest you said, oh, we're going to do an organized play thing after a Gambit and Rogue release. Okay, cool. But you didn't give us any information as far as what the next thing is going to be for Marvel Champions. And that's what the community was looking for. We get there's going to be an organized play thing. You told us about it. You told us about it again at the beginning of the stream. But you didn't give us any information for what's coming next for Marvel Champions. While everybody has been up in arms waiting for you to tell us what's coming next for Marvel Champions. And then today comes when there's the article drop, article drop Thursday, and there's no article for Marvel Champions. And it's like, you know, me, I totally expected it. I totally expected you to give us no information yesterday. I totally expected to get no information today. I honestly don't expect any information regarding the next thing coming from Marvel Champions until April. Uh, I'm just putting it out there. April is when we're going to get the next information. It's not going to come before then. It's just not. FFG has other stuff going on. They're not going to tell us anything else other than the game's not dead. We're really excited for what's coming. That being said, I think the organized play stuff that they that they put together, I'm not going to call them booster packs because I think that's wrong because they're not booster packs. They're um, alternate art packs. We'll call it that. Because it's cards you already have, so you're not getting boosters. Okay? This isn't Magic the Gathering. We're not sitting there playing... You know, slinging spells. It's not what we're doing. We're playing a co-op game, fighting villains with heroes. It's a living card game. We have all of this stuff already. It's an art pack. Okay? And it's really well done. The art is cool. And it's something that we would like to see. So, you... What I'm saying is your timing was bad. And you need to really think about things with your marketing department as far as that goes because when you have a community expectation and what you do is you go well here's this thing down here that the community is like yeah that's neat but 
what's what's happening over here right um so that's all i got that's all i wanted to say um keep keep up with the organized play stuff fg it's cool do it bring it out and get people to the stores it's nice and i think it's cool and i think it's great and maybe my local stores will be like hey this is a thing and we may start doing this maybe i'll contact them and find out how we can get that going up here but you know listen to the people listen to the people because the people are the ones that are like we are looking for something and you're not giving it to us and there's going to be people that are like dropping off because of it. And the, well, Marvel Champions doesn't care. So psh, what's the next thing I can do? Oh, there's that brass game that came out. So we'll go do that. You know, you, you got to talk to your people. Talk to us. We're here. Um, that being said, hey, check out all the other uh, content creators. Uh, they're all out there. D20, Nelson, Brandt. I'm seeing Spartan, Describe's back. I mean, there's there's tons of us. We're all over the place. My videos are the ones you watch if you want to see somebody lose a lot. Um, the other guys are the videos you watch if you want to see people win a lot. So that's how we do it. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you appreciate my news message. And, um, you know, Marvel Champions News Thursday. That's what this new one is. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. Everybody have a good night. See you later. Uh, don't forget Marvel Monday, Monday night. It's going to be a special one. Keep keep uh, keep your eyes and ears open. Check out the YouTubes. Um, yeah. Later, everybody. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that happy jazz.